Hey guys, Matt here with Finnick TG. Hey, in this video, we're going to go over how to set your Raspberry Pi up to connect to it remotely through a VNC client. So the reason you might want to do that is if you want to run your Raspberry Pi without a monitor and still connect to it, or if it's located remotely and you want to connect to it without actually physically walking over there, this is a good way to let you do that. It's pretty easy setup. Um, so to get started, you want to go up to the Raspberry Pi button and then go to Preferences and Raspberry Pi Configuration. Go to the Interfaces tab and then go to VNC, make sure it's enabled, and then hit OK. And now we should get a VNC icon kind of pop up at the top right. So there it is. So right click on that, go to Options, and then we want to change the authentication to VNC password. You can leave it set to Unix. It's a little more complex to set it up. You'd have to set up a user and a password in the Linux operating system. But we're just, just to make it work quickly, we're going to change it to VNC password and then hit apply and then go to the users and permissions page. Make sure the standard user is selected and we're going to set a password. Um, so for the video, I'm just going to use something simple. Um, if you're actually using it in a production sense, or well, you probably just set it as something a little bit more complex than what I'm going to set it to, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set it one more time, and then hit OK. So at this point, hit OK again. At this point, we should be able to connect to it through a VNC client. We just need to know what IP address it has. Um, if you're connecting to it a lot, you'll want to make sure you set the IP address as static or you could, um, in your DHCP server, set it so it never changes. So to find it, uh, there's a couple ways to do it. I think one of the easiest ways is just to open the command uh, prompt and then just do if config and then that will show you your IP address whether you're wired or wireless in my case I'm wired and my IP address is 192.168.2.115 so in VNC um, or from VNC we should be able to connect to it through that IP address right now so I'm gonna pull up my monitor and then I'm using ultra VNC viewer so if you double click on that and then put in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So mine's 192.168.2.115. And I'm using the default port, which is 5900. So if we hit connect, um, it'll prompt us for the password. So here's the password box. And my password was, let me make sure I'm on the right keyboard, 12345678. So let's go ahead and log on. And we get this window, and that is our Raspberry Pi connection. So we're on the desktop computer. We can see the Raspberry Pi through VNC. All right, guys, so it's working. Um, so let's go ahead and verify that it actually is working. So let's pull down this window, and then we can see our original Raspberry Pi. Um, it's right here. So we see it moving on our desktop, and then if we make our desktop, Let's see, other keyboard, so over here, now I'm on the desktop, and you can see that everything, everything's working great. So that's all there is to it, and that's a quick way to get VNC working. Um, hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.